Hello, everybody, and welcome to our mini series on uh, WordPress 5.0 Gutenberg blocks. Um, so, what I'm going to talk about today is just the different types of image blocks so that you can see how they work. Um, so, what I've done is I've pulled up a a post here and I'm just going to go ahead and click the add button and I'm going to add an image and I already have some pretty cool water images here so I'm just going to grab one of these and then what you can do with these is you've got a lot of settings so you can left align you can center align um, you can have your text right above and below where uh, the image is a little wider, or you can have it go full width, which this is a new feature, which is really awesome to not have to use CSS uh, to make this happen. Um, the other thing, and I'm just going to add just some text in here just so that it breaks things up a bit. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add in I'm actually going to add a cover block. So a cover block is going to allow you to add text on top of your block. So I'm going to grab something that will look kind of cool and we're going to make this full width. And then I can just say California vacation. And then this is just when you see that how this comes out, you know, your settings are going to be the same as far as if you want a left align, right align, center, uh, something a little wider or full width. Um, but what it's going to do is allow you to put this text on top, which is another phenomenal feature that we're seeing. I just added a little bit more text just to kind of break things up a bit. And then I'm just going so now I'm, just, I'm going to use the other method of adding blocks. Um, I'm going to add a gallery. And so that way you can see the different settings that you have for galleries. So now we can pick a bunch of pictures. And I'm going to create a new gallery. And you can caption these images if you want. Um, and you can see how the captions work. But the cool thing about this is we're able over on the other side to adjust the number of columns, how the images get cropped. So you can say crop images or don't crop images. You can link it to the media file or an attachment page. And you can also still adjust your, uh, your settings as far as left align, right align full width. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're just going to preview this. Those are the th your three different image types. So you've got your full screen image, your block of text, you've got your, your uh, cover image, and then you've got your gallery. Now if I wanted to come in here and just adjust some of these settings like this, then what you would get is just, you know, your image, your full cover, and then your gallery. So no matter how you slice it, no matter what your settings are, you get to have a lot more control over the way your images display in what you're working on. And that is your images.